Welcome. In this lesson, we're simply going to learn how to do the surface area of a sphere. And the surface area of a sphere is very simple. Just think of it that you have that sphere and three others, or a total of four circles of the same radius. So it's just the area of a circle of a radius four. So that's pi r squared, and there's four of them. That's where the four comes in, four circles that are pi r squared are the radius. So four times 3.14, radius was four, so four squared 16. 16 times 3.14 times four is 200.96. So just remember, the surface area of a sphere is four circles, so that's where I get the four from, and a circle's area is pi times the radius squared. They give us a radius of five, so I do five squared. Grab my calculator, and I on, so I'm doing this on a calculator, 25, that's 5 squared, times 4, times 3.14, so I just did 20, oh, well, that was interesting, 25 times 4 is 100, 100 times 3.14 is just 314. I should have been able to do that without a calculator, 314. Now, when you get up into the higher numbers, they might give you the surface area and ask you to find the radius. And always make sure you use the radius, not the diameter. This is the diameter that are given us. So make sure you do 4 times pi times 7 squared, not 14. Okay, I'm going to jump up just to make sure that there isn't one where I'm going backwards. I jumped up all the way to 90. And it's still doing the exact same thing, just finding surface area. So again, I'm going to do four circles. Circles are the pi times the radius squared. The radius is 0.7 squared. So I grab my calculator, plug that in, and I get 6.1544. But it says round to the nearest hundredth. So I'm just going to type in 6.15. It'd have a 44, but round to the nearest hundredth. If you have any questions on how to do this, please bring them to class. And again, remember to always do your radius.